By now, you may have heard about a seven-year-old girl who died while on a family vacation in Florida earlier this week. Such a tragedy. Tuesday, Sloan Mattingly was on a beach and playing in a hole with her brother when the sand suddenly collapsed. Sloan and her family are from Indiana, but there is an Oklahoma tie. The story made national headlines, and for the first time, Sloan's family is speaking publicly about what happened. She was always happy. She was really fun to be around. She had a lot of energy and just totally innocent. And, and that's what really hurts the most about this. Seven-year-old Sloan Mattingly and her nine-year-old brother Maddox were on a family vacation near Fort Lauderdale, Florida, playing in the sand on the beach with their parents. Chris Sloan's sister, Teresa, and her husband, Jason. Little Sloan is her mother's family's namesake. They call her Sloaney. They were having a good time. They were staying at an Airbnb. Um, everybody was really excited to actually see them out there. Sloan's father owns a drywall and painting business that prevents the family from traveling. They don't really go on vacation much, um, but they went to Fort Lauderdale, to the beach. They'd been posting pictures the last couple of days that they've been out there um, on social media. Along with social media posts, the entire family was keeping up with this rare family outing on a group text. Sloan's mother has seven siblings. The family spread out all over the country. Sloan and Maddox would often use the group chat to send family members happy birthday videos. The brother and sister were inseparable, always together. Happy birthday to you. Th those are good memories. Uncle Chris lives in Oklahoma. I got a text message, as did everybody on the group chat, to call um, a number for a, a conference call. There's reference to a child caught in a hole and by the High Noon Resort Hotel. Still receiving unknown age of the child, unknown if they're fully buried. Once we got all on the line, my brother David said, okay, I, I, I've got everybody here, right? Everybody's on the line. I've got what I hate to tell you is going to be the worst news of your entire life. And, and, and it was. Um, and he said that she had passed away, that Sloane had passed away. Sloane and Maddox were playing in a hole in the sand when it collapsed. Later, we found out that the, uh, after the sanded cave, she kept trying to grab up Maddox's leg to get up out of the sand and uh, Sorry. And uh, eventually he couldn't feel her moving anymore. And uh, the sand had been up to his chest and he was screaming for help. And a lot of people did come and help. There's actually some video of that. They were able to free Maddox. There's about 20 people digging, trying to find the child. But it was too late for Sloan. She was non-responsive at the scene is what we know. The family now wants everyone to know the dangers of sand and how quickly and easily it can give way. Even if it saved one life, just to know about this story, that this is real, um, and it, it's tragic, it's happened, we're working through it, um, and just hopefully nothing like this ever happens to anyone else again. I cannot imagine what those parents are yeah. going through right now. Mm. There is a GoFundMe set up to help Sloan's family with expenses. We have a link to that on our website, kfor.com.